ये पिन है अब इसमें जो पिन है इट हैज 14 प्लस 14 28 वो 28 पिन कनेक्ट की गई हैं इस बोर्ड के ऊपर दैट इज वाई दिस बोर्ड इज कॉल्ड ऑडिनो बोर्ड ऑडिनो यूनो बोर्ड यूनो बोर्ड वाई बिकॉज जम्पर वाइज के इजिली बी फिक्स वरना हमें शोल्डर करना पड़ेगा हमें अटैचमेंट करने पड़ेंगे ना तो हमें शोल्डर करना पड़ेगा सो फॉर एन इजी एक्सेस वॉट उस बोर्ड में उन्होंने कनेक्शन अलग अलग दिए हैं अब ये जो सेंसर हमारे पास है इट हैज ओनली हाउ मेनी पिन टू पिन टू पिन बट हाउ मेनी पिन आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर गेटिंग वैल्यू फ्रॉम एसेंसर मिनिमम थ्री मैक्सिमम कैन बी फोर वन फॉर पावर पॉजिटिव फाइव वोल्ट वन इज नेगेटिव अदर इज एनोलॉग एनोलॉग ट्रांसमिशन अदर इज डिजिटल सो वी नीड टू मिनिमम हैव थ्री पिन और मैक्सिमम इट कैन बी फोर सो दिस मॉड्यूल नीड्स टू बी कनेक्टेड हाउ विल कनेक्ट दिस मॉड्यूल विद दिस वेन मॉड्यूल इज कनेक्टेड मॉड्यूल हैज अ फोर पिन बोर्ड अटैच टू इट सी दिस इज अ फोर पिन बोर्ड एंड इफ यू माइन्यूटली सी इन टू इट ऑल फोर पिन आर लेबल्ड One is labeled as V, V C C. लिखा है? Yes sir. Another G N D. G N D. That is ground. Yes sir. V C C means positive five volts. Positive five volts. Yes. Okay. Sir. And G N D means ground. 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 Then there is one A zero and D zero. Yes sir. Analog Got it. Analog. That is analog transmission pin. Analog. Digital Other is transmission. digital transmission, transmission pin. pin. Got it. Yes sir. Understood. Yes sir. Now what we need to do is we have to connect it to a microcontroller. But this will not if we have a male to male connector. pin it cannot fix here so one side male we need to, to have a female, male to female, female connector. connector so let's have four male to female connectors for this okay sir did you understand yes sir so four are required one is female to male red yes we'll have a color coding also so that we understand which one is for what purpose yes, sir okay so one female to male will have this is male to male VCC. Yes, yes sir. The first one, that's five yes. volt connector. Yes sir. Got it? Yes sir. Second one, we need for ground. You can use the black one. Female to male, black one. And then we need for analog transmission. We don't need digital one. We'll transmit analog signals. Okay. So for analog signals, the fourth one needs to be connected. That we can connect yellow or orange or anything. Yes. But we just need to remember the color. Yes sir. So this is the fourth one. I'll connect it here. Yes, Understood? Yes, sir. Now I will connect all these three pins to a microcontroller. Okay, sir. Got it? Red is red needs to be connected to the five volt, five volt five positive volt. voltage. Positive this is yes, five sir. volt. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. One, yes, two, three, four. Yes, sir. Done? Yes, sir. Negative needs to be connected to ground. G ground. G and D. Yes. Right next to it there is ground. Yes, ground. Two ground pins are there. Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. Then this needs to be connected to any analog pin. Any yes, analog. A zero. We'll go to A zero. Yes, sir. Okay. Done? So it's out. Connections right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Understood? Yes, sir. Now we need to produce an output. Output. We yes, need sir. to produce the output. output. If we want the range to be within a limit, let's say it has a range from zero to thousand. Yes, sir. If it has a maximum moisture, there and you have to remember one thing, that the moisture level on this sensor, yes, sir. The rating will go down. More moisture, values will be down. Down. Highest value with full dry skin on both the sides. Would be one zero two four. One zero. How much? One zero two four. And less would be zero. zero. Lesser would be zero. So when it is fully dipped into water, immersed into water, the value would be zero. Zero. Value would be zero. When it is fully dry, value would be one zero two four. So we have to draw a line in between. Yes. Yes. Sir. Zero and one zero two four. So we can keep it up to seven hundred or six hundred. That could be the value. Yes. Sir. And we will set conditions. If value is less than seven hundred. Yes. Sir. Less than seven hundred. That means it is fully moist. Fully moist. Are you getting my point? Yes. Sir. If it is less than seven hundred. that green led should blink yes okay got sir. it any output we need to produce yes sir if it is greater than 700 that means it is dry red led yes. should blink yes are you able to understand yes sir so i'll do it the same way now before we physically connect it what we'll do is we'll have the same kind of replication on one of the softwares called as tinker cad tinker what is it called tinker, tinker cad so let's do it here oh uh, sir i had a question that yes is used to code it C++ okay. but you don't need it at all okay i'll show you the way to code it without a language okay. you don't need to go to any language okay, i'll sir. show you that is what tinkercad is for okay sir we'll type tinkercad in google yes sir the dashboard would come and we'll go to search it yes sir got it is it visible yes sir yes. what's your name my name is shumail s h u m a i l s h u m a i l m y l 
M Y L. Okay. Done. Enter. Yes. Now you'll have your name here. Oh, yes, Done? Sir. Yes, sir. Now what I'll do is see, I have a dashboard on the right. Got it? Yes, sir. And here I have microcontroller. I'll yes, keep sir. it here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. And now I'll go to moisture sensor. Here is my moisture sensor. Yes, sir. Got it? Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. Now I have many pins here. I'll connect only three. VCC ground and signals. Yes. Got it? Where did we connect VCC to? 5 volt positive. Five volt positive. I'll choose color red. 5 volt positive. There it is. Let me convert it. I'll put it this way. Okay? Yes, sir. Now 5 volt is here. So I am going to connect 5 volt this way with VCC. Yes sir. Done? Yes sir. Connected? Yes sir. After that I will choose black color for connecting ground GM. with this ground pin. Yes sir. Done? Yes sir. Now what do I need to connect? I will go to yellow A0. and connect from A0, A0. to A0. signal pin. Yes sir. Are we on the same page? Yes, sir. Did all of you understand? Yes, sir. All three connections. Yes, sir. Basically, also connected here through module. Yes, sir. All three. And here also in Tinkercad. Done? Yes, sir. Yes, now we are getting a value from sensor into the microcontroller. Yes, sir. Understood? Into the microcontroller. Yes. yes. Now what I can do is, I can code it. I will go to code window. Yes, sir. Here is a code window. Like scratch. Yes. I'll drag it a little bit so that it's visible to all of you. Now let me take off these things. I'll go to control and the first loop which I need is forever loop. Forever loop. Okay. For that it can uh, yes. run forever. Now see the value which is coming from a sensor to has to be condition. stored somewhere. Yes sir. Has to be stored so somewhere. Yeah. So the memory block where we need to store that value, we have to name that memory block. Okay sir. And we call it as a variable. Yeah. Variable. We call yes, it sir. as a variable. So we have to declare one variable wherein we would store a value which comes from the sensor. Okay sir. Okay, sir. I'm getting my point? I understand sir. So what we'll do is we'll define a variable. Yes I'll sir. go to variables and we'll create one yeah. variable. Let's say we call it as num. Yes sir. Okay. So num is a variable. Yes, sir. Got it? Now, now I'll draw I'll drop this block. See, I'll drag this block set num to zero. So the initial value inside num is zero. zero. Now I need to get a value yeah, from the signal the signal, signal wire. Got signal it? Wire, I understand. Which is going to A0 pin. Yes, sir. Isn't it? So from A0, analog zero pin, I have yes, to read that value. Read that value. So I'll go to input, input. and then you see A0. read analog pin yes, A0. I'll drag it into zero. Yes, so now zero would be replaced with the value from A0. 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 What, what is it? Uh, that's currently the what value. What is the value? Of A0. Yes. That's stored because in that, this. That, that is a value point. going from here, and going from the sensor yes. into A0. A0. So yes. it has to read that value. Yes, sir. Read Understood? That. Yes, sir. Now it is reading the value. Yes, sir. Whatever that value is, I want to see that value. Yes. I want that value to be printed. So I'll go to output and I'll write print, print on serial monitor. Yes sir, print A on serial monitor. Print on serial monitor, here it is hello world. Hello world. But I don't need hello world, mm -hmm. I need the value of A0. A0. A0, you can replace it. But A0 has already been stored in num. Num. So I actually need the value in num. Num, yes Right? Yes sir, yes, sir. I understand sir. Point. Yes sir. So what we'll do is, we'll go to variables and drag num into yeah, this. Okay. Yes sir. Got it? Yes sir. Now let me run it. Sir, but uh, you said about conditions like if it is conditions will be later on. Okay, sir. We haven't put conditions yet. Yes, Let us read the sensor first. Okay, sir. Let us see the values only. Okay. Because based on values, we'll set the condition. Yes. Sir. So first, we'll have to read the read values. values of the sensor. Yes. So I'll go to code window and I'll run it. See, start simulation. I started simulations. Yes. Sir. It has started working. Now I'll go to serial monitor down at the bottom. See, the value is zero. Zero. Now I'll click on sensor. Still the value is zero. zero. Now let me drag it. Let me put some water. See virtual Increase water. The moisture level. Yes. See, what is the value? 30. It's increasing. 30. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Is it increasing? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. See the maximum value here is 876. 876. Yes, sir. Maximum value is 876. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Now what I'm going to do is now I will put the condition. Yes, now I have understood that the value 
from 0 to 876 is for the moisture. moisture. If it is fully moist, then the value is 876. 876. If it is not moist at all, if it is completely dry, the value is 0. So I'll put a condition. If it is more than 700, that means uh, moisture level is more than 70, 80 percent, it is high, then my red LED should blink. Otherwise, my green LED should blink. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Now let's do it. See. I'll go to mathematics. Yes, sir. So I'll go to control first because condition is in control. Yes, sir. If yes. then else. Yes, so sir. I'll drag this if here. Got it? Yes, sir. If this condition. If yes, sir. Which I is a hexagon. Hexagon. I it's understand. a hexagon. Hexagon is a condition. Condition. So I'll go to mathematics and see hexagonal conditions. See here is a condition. Yes, sir. I'll put a condition here. But now my condition says one. Yes. But I don't need one, I need the value of num. num. If num is less, less than 700, I'll put a value 700. Yes, sir. Got it? Yes, sir. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Or should I make it more? Sorry, oh, sorry. it was visible. If num is less than 700, I'll put it greater than. Yes, sir. If it is greater than 700, 700. then my red LED should blink. So but I right. haven't fixed red LED yet. I haven't fixed it. Yes, sir. I haven't fixed red LED yes, yet. Sir. So let me fix red LED. Now for red LED, what I'll do is, I'll write here LED. LED. This is the red LED and I'll put it here. Yes, sir. And I'll connect it. See, this tail is anode, so it has to be connected to positive oh, voltage. Yes, that is from 0 to 13. 13. I'll connect it to 12. Let's see, I'll connect it to 12. 12. Got it? Yes, sir. Negative, I'll connect to ground. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Done? Yes, sir. So red LED should blink when my moisture level is greater than 700. When it is greater than 700. If it is less than 700, I don't need anything. Let's say I don't need anything. Or if I need anything, I want a green LED to blink. Let me go to green LED. Put a green LED here. Change its color from red to green. Now I'll connect it to pin number. Let's say... 13. 4. That's a four because it's nearer. And now ground again, I need to get it, right? Yes, I need to get a ground. I have one more ground here. Here I have a ground signal. So I'll connect it from here. But you know what? LEDs will blow off if not connected with the resistor. Yes, yes, because LED is one or one point five volt. Yes, sir. So for that what I'll do is I'll take off, I'll take off this and I'll add a resistor here for ground. 